I'm Rita Kering Chabat. Welcome on board. Kotu Secretary General Francis Atwoli wants President William Ruto and opposition leader Raila Odinga to ditch the bipartisan talks process meant to address the differences between the opposition and the government. Atwoli instead wants the two leaders to iron out their differences in person and lead the country towards economic recovery. The Kotu Secretary General says workers are worst hit by the prevailing economic times, including the risk of getting laid off. And I'm joined by Bushebi Jr. from the other side of the studio. Bushebi Jr., what is the latest update on the bipartisan talk? All right. Thank you so much, Rida Chebet. Of course, we are talking about the bipartisan talks and Kenya Kwanzaa bipartisan team has accused the Azimio side of frustrating the talks by placing unnecessary roadblocks on the way. The team led by their chair, George Murugara, have claimed Azimio is looking for excuses just to scuttle the talks. And uh, Murugara said there are urgent issues like the Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission that can't be held in abeyance for too long because uh, the Electoral Commission needs to be put in place and Murugara also said he will be writing to his uh, vice uh, chair uh, Otiende Amolo who he accused of suspending the talks prematurely seems like the bipartisan talks uh, is not actually dead so let's just have a listen to what the Kenya Kwanzaa team had to say by the Azmio side invoking clause 27 clause 37 of the framework agreement is actually premature. So those are allegations. And in the response, we will give a detailed answer as to exactly what possibly said Kenya Kwanzaa has done, and we will be saying whether we have done it or we've not done it, and whether we have the capacity to do it, and under what parameters we will do it. We do not believe there are irreconcilable differences and that, in effect, we should now go to close 34D so that the matter can actually be discussed. We am also inviting my co-chair for this meeting on Monday afternoon so that we are able to thrash out any issues that are in contention. We will also be seeking guidance from the respective leaders. Of course, and all the way from uh, the Murugara-led team of the Kenya Kwanzaa bipartisan faction, of course, we understand that uh, Azimio faction of the bipartisan talk team, they suspended or rather ditched the uh, bipartisan talks on Wednesday with allegations that uh, Jubilee, I mean, should not be interfered with in its party uh, internal issues and they accused even uh, the registrar of political parties and the RITU of interfering with Jubilee party internal affairs instead of strengthening democracy the Azimio side claimed that uh, the ORPP that is uh, and the RITU was being used by state to frustrate democracy, making it one of the reasons as to why they had to call off the bipartisan talks. And it is something that uh, Kenyans are looking up to to see whether it will take effect, whether things will change sooner and bipartisan talks will uh, continue. But just to have a recap on what the Azimio team said, now that we have heard what the Kenya Kwanzaa team said, uh, let's just listen in to what uh, uh, the Azimio team in a presser that was read by Eugene Wamalwa they had to say when they were uh, supporting the boycott of the bipartisan talks. We endorse the decision by our delegation to walk out of the talks. Until Kenya Kwanzaa agrees to deal with the interim issues raised by the team, the talks will remain suspended. The meeting resolved and has given authority to our team in the bipartisan talks to issue a notice of dissolution of the talks in the event that Kenya Kwanzaa will not publicly accede to the interim measures within six days in line with the provisions of the framework agreement. This notice ends on Tuesday next week. Thereafter, the Azimio co Coalition will communicate 
our next course of action at our PG. Next week, all Jubilee Party members of Parliament who have crossed the floor and joined Kenya Kwanzaa must go for by-elections. Those who hold their positions by virtue of their nomination by Azimio must have their nominations revoked. The Registrar of Political Parties, Mrs. Anne Deritu, must leave office in view of clear manifestations that she has been co-opted into partisan and illegal schemes by Kenya Kwanzaa to cripple instead of protecting political parties. Anne Deritu no longer enjoys the confidence of her clans who are political parties and whom, whom by her mandate she's supposed to strengthen, not to weaken as she is doing. The Azimio will do everything possible to protect its affiliate parties from these heinous attacks. We ask all Kenyans to join us in protecting multi-party democracy for which many Kenyans lost their lives. Deliberately, they have no clear direction from Mr. William Ruto on how to proceed. The destabilization of the Jubilee Party is a do or die agenda, sponsored by the high highest level of Kenya Kwanzaa leadership, whose aim is to ensure Kenya Kwanzaa obtains a super majority in parliament and amends the constitution, removes presidential term limits, abolishes devolution, and removes the independence of constitutional commissions and place them as part of the presidency. Kenya Kwanzaa also wants to remove the necessity of parliament approving every tax measures and wants to give the president power to impose some taxes without always having to go through the finance bill for every increase. All right, really Chibet, as uh, you can see, um, it's a quite a tussle here and there, but something that is expected in uh, during uh, negotiations. But somehow, to finish off my report, I will just uh, talk about what Court Secretary General Francis Atwoli has said concerning the same matter, and he is of a different opinion that there should be no bipartisan talks, and bipartisan talks are, un, I mean, it's just an unnecessary venture. He is suggest, suggesting that uh, President William Ruto and former Prime Minister Raila Odinga should come together and have a one-on-one -on -one talk so that they can be able to make the country go forward even in terms of economic crisis. Remember right now the shilling Ridge bet has lost its value by almost 30 percent meaning that the high cost of living is going up there's the issue of three percent levy there is the issue of a uh, finance bill 2023 quite a number of issues the vat that is shifting from eight percent to sixteen percent and there's a lot to talk about and code to sg is of the opinion that there's no need for this bipartisan team to sit down and talk but let the principles that is former prime minister raila odinga and uh, president william ruto sit down and decide where the country should go let's listen kwa halina maana yeyote ni juu ya mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga William Samoei Ruto kukutana watu wawili waangalie ni njia gani because what they are stakeholders katika hii nchi ni viongozi kivyao wakutane wawili bila chopo chopo ile watu katika chopo ujizo chopo zao those are small people ni watu wa chini sana kwa hawa hawafai wakutane waombie mfuate hii nchi hadi muafaka they can find a solution when the two meet all right, Rene Chibet, that is um, Francis Atwoli speaking there. And that will mark the end of my report concerning the bipartisan update. And back to you, Rida Kerry Chibet.